Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the module 2 of Technical Analysis Foundation, the complete professional trading course for beginners. In this tutorial, we'll go through the sub-module 2.2, talk about how to read price candlesticks, and I will share with you guys some of the most powerful candlestick patterns that you can apply to your trading today. Alright, let's get started. So candlestick is probably the most commonly used bar chart in technical analysis. This is how candlestick bars look like. They have an upper shadow, a body, a lower shadow, and combined together, you have candlestick. So how do you read a candlestick in a bar chart? In this tutorial, I will use daily chart as example to explain how the candlestick bar works. On a daily chart, candlestick bar basically gives you four pieces of imp important information on the market price. First, you get an opening price, then you get a closing price, the highest price of the day, and the lowest price of the day. So when you see a green candle bar on a daily chart, it means that during the same day, the price goes up and close higher. On the other hand, when you see a red candle bar on a daily chart, it means that during the same day, the price goes down and close lower than the opening price. Cool, now you know how a single candlestick bar works and how to read it. Let's move on. You probably noticed that when you read a chart, the candlestick bars have different shapes, different length, and also different combinations between each bars together and form some certain patterns. These patterns are not random. There are actually hidden information within those patterns. If you know how to analyze them and apply them in the right market environment, these patterns will give you the actual edge in your trading. So in this tutorial, I will share with you six of the most powerful candlestick patterns that professional tr traders use on a daily basis to help you identify high probability trade setups in the market. All right, let's move on. The first pattern is called a bullish hammer pattern. It typically has a small real body at the top of the bar and a very long lower shadow with very small or even no upper shadow. Generally, the lower shadow should be at least twice the height of the real body. The bars can be either green or red, it doesn't matter. Why bullish hammer patterns deserve your attention in the price chart? Because it shows two important signs of a market. First sign is the potential exhaustion of the selling pressure. Second, it shows that the buying power overtook the selling pressure on the day and it can potentially create an imbalance favor the buyers in the future. Both of these two signs are bullish signs and they indicate that price has a higher probability of going higher in the future. There are two common places where the bullish hammer patterns work the best. First is you can find it at the support level of an uptrend. And the second is at the bottom of a downtrend. So here is an example. The market is in a clear uptrend pull back to the 150 day moving average and find the support there. There's a very classic bullish hammer bar at the end of the pullback, which is a bullish sign. Then, right after this bullish hammer bar, the market bounced back and continued the uptrend. If we talk about the bullish hammer pattern, then definitely we should talk about its opposite pattern, which is called the bearish shooting star pattern. A bearish shooting star pattern typically has a small real body at the bottom of the bar and a very long upper shadow with very small or even no lower shadow. Generally, the upper shadow should be at least twice the height of the real body. The bars can be either green or red. A bearish shooting star pattern also shows two important signs for the market. First, it shows the potential exhaustion of the buying power. Second, it shows the selling pressure overtook the buying power and can potentially create an imbalance that favors the sellers. Both of these two signs are bearish signs and indicate the price has a higher probability of going lower in the future. And similarly, there are two common places where the bearish shooting star patterns work the best. First is at a resistance level of a downtrend. Second is at the top of an uptrend. Here's an example. The market is in a clear downtrend and this 20-day moving average form a strong resistance level. When the price pullback tests the resistance and it forms a bearish shooting star pattern, the price immediately bounces back and continues heading lower. Next, let's take a look at another very common and powerful bullish candlestick pattern. It's called a bullish engulfing pattern. 
A bullish engulfing pattern is a combination of two candlesticks. One small bearish red candlestick and a one large bullish green candle bar with body that engulfs the body of the small red candle bar. This pattern shows the potential exhaustion on the seller side, and more buyers set into the market and create a buying over selling imbalance that favors the buyers. So the market turns bullish and the price will have a higher probability of going up once you see such patterns in the market. So here's one example. The market is in a clear uptrend, a pullback comes in, tests the support level, and it forms a bullish engulfing pattern. After that, the market starts bouncing back and heading back up. Also, if you look carefully, you will see another bullish pattern at the support level. Yes, that's right. That's a bullish hammer pattern which we we'll talked about before. It is also a sign that the market turns from short-term bearish sign into a bullish sign. So the opposite to bullish engulfing pattern is known as the bearish engulfing pattern. Similar to bullish engulfing pattern, a bearish engulfing pattern is also a combination of two candlesticks. So one small green bar and one large bearish red candle bar with the body that engulfs the body of the small green bar. This pattern shows a potential exhaustion of the buyer side, and more sellers jump into the market and create a selling pressure that pull the price lower. So the market turns bearish and the price will have a higher probability to go lower in the future. Bearish engulfing patterns can, can happen in both uptrend and downtrend. So I will show you one example. The market is in a short-term uptrend. However, at the top of the uptrend, it forms a bearish engulfing pattern. It's a sign of buying exhaustion and the sellers are taking control. So the short-term trend starts to reserve, price pullback, and the continue goes lower. Alright, so the next two patterns I'm about to share with you are my favorite two patterns I'm using on a daily basis. Let's start with the bullish morning star pattern. It is formed by three candlestick bars. The first one is a long bearish red bar. The second is a small bar with a lower shadow crossed below the support level. It can be either green or red. The third candlestick bar is the most important one. It's a green bar with a long real body and close above at least half of the first red bar's real body. So bullish morning star pattern is considered a type of bottom reversal pattern and you will most likely see them at a strong support level. For example, this is a daily chart of Activision Blizzard. As you can see, this market had a short-term downtrend and all the way retraced back to 200-day moving average. Normally, especially for stocks, the 200-day moving average acts as a strong support level. The same for this stock too. When the price hits the 200-day moving average, it bounces back and forms a classic bullish morning star pattern. And it reverses to a strong uptrend later on. The price starts going higher. So when you see this bullish morning star pattern in the price chart at a clear and a strong support level, it can potentially give you a high quality long trade setups. Now, let's look at the opposite version, the bearish evening star pattern. Similar to the morning star pattern, bearish evening star pattern is also formed by three candlestick bars. The first one is a long green bar heading to the resistance level. The second bar is a small bar with the upper shadow crossed above the resistance level but it fails to break it. This candle bar can be either green or red. Then comes the third candlestick bar, which is a bearish red bar with a long real body and close below at least half of the first green bar's real body. Bearish evening pattern is considered a type of the top reversal pattern, and you will most likely see them at a strong resistance level. Alright, so I'll give you another example. The market was going up and hit the 20 day moving average, and it forms a bearish evening star pattern there. Right after this pattern, the market bounces back from the resistance, which is the 200 day moving average, and the continue goes lower. So, if you want to go short on this stock, or you're already in the short position and you want to add more positions, this pattern can help you identify the ideal entry point. Alright, so we have talked about how you can read the candlestick bars and how you can identify some certain useful candlestick bars patterns. And then that concludes our module 2.2. By now, I hope you guys have learned how to read a candlestick bar and how to identify some of the profitable patterns with these candlestick bars in a chart. 
Learning how to read the candlestick and analyze the hidden message behind it is your very, very first step on chart reading. And then in, in the next three tutorials, we're going to go even deeper and I cover some of the even more advanced chart reading techniques. Actually, I already mentioned some of them. For example, support and resistance, moving averages. These are the things that we commonly use in our professional technical trading. And we're going to go even deeper in the coming tutorials. All right. So before we wrap up, I would like to share with you one of my favorite quotes from the most iconic and legendary trader, Jesse Livermore. A man must believe in himself and his own judgment if he expects to make a living at this game. That is why I don't believe in tips. When I started trading, one of the biggest mistakes I made was to purely depend on those online trade signal services and trade on other people's ideas and opinions. I didn't even bother to learn how to read the chart and analyze those trade ideas on my own. I was just blindly follow other people's tips without any understandings. Developing your own judgment is super crucial if you wish to succeed in trading and trade for a living. One of your very first steps to develop your own judgment with confidence is to learn how to read and analyze the market in a technical perspective way on your own. Alright guys, this is the end of the module 2.2. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the module 2.3. Bye for now.